what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Living in Truth. I am Aaron Brooks, and glad to be spending a little bit of time with you today. We're going into five videos back to back to back to back to back, so you guys will know what's coming your way. We're going to have a reset. We're going to teach you how to have a biblically based reset and what's going on in the world around you. Happy to be here. Happy to have you with us. Let's get started with the reset. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. I want to give you a little bit of an overview of what we're going to get into over the next five videos. That's going to be a release schedule. We're going with Monday and Thursday, so don't miss it. If you want to get all of this stuff that you're going to want to be a part of, and we want to have you be a part of this community, first, got to get subscribed. You got to hit that like and ring that bell. All right. So jump in. Thank you for all the support you've already given to us. It's just overwhelming. It's honestly, it's just humbling uh, that somebody is getting anything out of this other than myself and Andreas. We're working on this stuff and uh, I'm just humbled to be used by God because that is what this is first and foremost all about is the name of Jesus and helping you guys connect, helping us build our community of faith and keeping the main thing, the main thing. And he is and always will be first and foremost in my life. And I hope that's the same thing for you as well. Jesus Christ, uh, first above all else. So jumping into the reset, want to give you an overview, then we're going to dive in. Reset, R, reconcile. E, establish. S, synchronize. E, endure. T, triumph. So today's video brought to you by the letter R. All right. So the first, well, I mean the only R, but the first letter R, reconcile. What does reconcile mean? Okay. Some of you are going to look it up. Some of you won't. I'll tell you anyway. We know how that goes. Uh, reconcile is to restore friendly relations between. This is what we need is a reset. Understanding our relationship. Some of us are as close to God as we've ever been, and that is wonderful. But a lot of us, probably most people watching this video right now, we're here to get even closer to God. We want to reconcile. We want to establish that friendly relation. We want that to be the foundation with us and Jesus. We are friends of God, and that is so, so, so important. So scripturally, let's back it up. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 19 says, that is, in Christ God was reconciling the word to him, world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That means you and I have a role to play in helping people reset, that God is reconciling the world to himself. He wants that relationship with you and with me and with all of those people out there, whether they have a relationship now or whether they don't, whether they've never had one, God does want that relationship with his children. Number two, establish to set up on a firm or permanent basis. Synchronize, cause to occur or operate at the same time or rate. As somebody who worked in the audio industry for a while, understanding synchronization is so important, especially, you know, being uh, musically inclined as well. If we had people singing at different tempos and on different times, it is something that is just not good. So we've got to keep ourselves synchronized with God. Otherwise, we're walking off, marching to our own beat, and that's just not going to work. E, second E, E, endure. That's not necessarily the most fun word right now. That's not what we want to hear, but I just want to encourage you. So endure, defined as suffer patiently. Man, that kind of kind of gets me right where I'm at. You know, I'm oh man, I, we're always in a hurry. Okay, God, what's next? Okay, God, let's go. Okay, God, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And he's like, I just wait, just wait. I I I, I hate that. I get frustrated with that. I'm still working on that, but. We have to endure. 
Last one, T, triumph. Achieve victory or be successful. So let's jump right back up at the beginning of our reset. That's right. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We read, uh, we read in there verse 19, but I want to go back and I like to give things in context because it just speaks to me a little bit more. So we're going to jump back. We're going to start at verse 16. If you want to get your handy dandy Bible app, yeah, uh, if you want to get that pulled up and ready to go, um, feel free, go for it. We'll have it up on the screen right here for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we were once, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Man, that is such an encouraging verse. It is so good to know that when we give ourselves over to Jesus, when we give our hearts over to Christ and we find ourselves grafted in with him, when we find ourselves woven together with him, that we lose ourselves in him, that the old me can die. The old me can be washed away and I can become a brand new creation. How many of you guys out there want to be a brand new creation? I know I do. And so I want to find myself lost in Christ. Going on ahead. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is in Christ God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. That's, I came, I'll be honest with you, I came in here looking to start with the encouragement of being a new creation. I love that scripture. I knew that's where I was going to head. And then I like to read in context and that just hit hit me so hard because I don't know how many of you need to know this, but God isn't up out there looking to just find your mistake. He's not just sitting up on a cloud cosmically waiting to zap you with some kind of lightning bolt. That's not how God operates. God is love. And it tells me right here in his word. So maybe sometimes some of us aren't the best representatives, maybe not, but right here it tells us that Christ God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. It doesn't matter what you came in here with. It doesn't matter what you've done before. What matters is God, Jesus, came and made a way to reconcile you and him and your relationship to the Father. No matter where you've come from, no matter what you've done, it's not too far gone. And though Christians or people may not be very good at forgetting where you came from, and maybe that's something that plays against you, don't let that hold you back. Jesus didn't come to hold your trespasses against you. He came and gave his life so that your trespasses, your mistakes, your sins, your failures could all be forgiven. Not to be held against you, but to be washed away, to be reconciled, to be brought back into that friendly relationship. Let's finish out. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us, we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. The perfect Lamb of God, sent to take away the sin of the world didn't even know what sin was, had never been a part of it, had never made a mistake, hung on a cross and took all of the penalty of sin and paid it in full for you. 
I didn't plan on it, but I got this song in my heart. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, born into sin that we may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Look to Jesus today. Behold the Lamb of God. Reconcile your relationship with him right now. What's holding you back? What are you waiting for? I don't know. And if you're here already and you already have that relationship, maybe share this with somebody who needs to hear that. Maybe somebody you know needs that encouragement from you. Maybe you're walking right and you're looking for a way in this world where we are stuck, separated. To be able to share the love of Jesus with somebody. It tells you right here in verse 20 that you're an ambassador. You're somebody to carry out the cause. The love of Jesus to be shared with all the world through you. He made it that way on purpose because he wants to be reconciled. He wants to have that relationship with you that we may become the righteousness of God. What an incredible blessing. What an incredible opportunity we have as Christians right now. We could run and we could, we could turn tail and we could hide or we can get in here and we can fight together. We can come together as a family and we can come together stronger. That's what happens through trials. We be, become pressed, we become persecuted, we become shaken. And that's when our priorities rise to the top. What are your priorities really? Where you're spending your time right now that's your priority. And I'm so glad you chose to share that with us right here on Living in Truth. If this has helped you, if this is something that's encouraged you, if this is a little bit of motivation for you to share it, to get out, to tell somebody Jesus loves them, I encourage you, hit the like, get subscribed, ring the bell, because you're not going to want to miss the rest of this reset that's coming at you very, very soon. We'll be coming back again Thursday with the next part of this series. But today, reconcile. Begin your reset right now. Get yourself in that friendly relationship with Jesus. He loves you, cares for you, and he's not here to hold your past against you. He's here to wash it away by the sacrifice he made. So glad you were here. So encouraged. Looking forward to doing this many, many, many more times. And, uh, you know, please share, comment, like, subscribe, all those kind of fun things. I know uh, it seems redundant, but it is important. The more people that get involved with this, the more people can learn about Jesus because we're going to keep him first in everything that we do. Thank you, Father, for who you are, for your word and the encouragement. Help us now begin our reset by reconciling ourselves with you right here, right now. We just want to make you, first and foremost, that top priority in our life. So excited. So excited. We'll see you in the next video. See ya! (laughs) No spinning chair this time. Not even going to try.